Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Yeah, so today I'm gonna be talking about obviously what's on the title, I Met Judge Marilyn Mignon. Yeah, so I met Judge Marilyn Mignon because of my mother. So she's like a big fan of her. She's someone she idolizes, like she watches the people's court every day, like it's a religion. I guess you can say she's she's just a big fan of her. Looking online about Judge Marilyn Mignon, and out of the blue, she just tells me she's coming to san antonio like she's like we gotta go see her we gotta go see her and i've been wanting to meet her this is the only way we're gonna meet her and i was like okay like what is she gonna do like is she just gonna like go into san antonio like and she's like no she's gonna go at the henry b convention down in san antonio texas where she's gonna talk about like feminism and about like women empowerment and stuff like that just all that good stuff and i was like you know what like my mom does a lot for me like she really does a lot for me and this is something that she's always been wanting to see so i was like okay like she's wanting to meet her that's cool i'll go i'll go with my mom you know it's, it's nothing so she was like okay so i remember it was clearly on a saturday it was on a saturday and i was like okay what to wear we're gonna meet the people's court like we're gonna meet her please obviously i was expecting to take a picture first we got tickets we had to get them online to go into this like into the place they were like oh no it's for free and stuff like that so we're just like okay whatever so we were just like okay we're gonna go in there we're gonna wait for her we waited for a good hour and we were just like looking around the place you know we're just looking at what they were having there and stuff like that right and so i was like okay um we waited like again for an hour <clears throat> because this person was talking about women problems and stuff like that and it was the most boring like i felt like i was back in high school mind y'all i had just graduated around that year so it was like i was like in september and i graduated in may and we we're like okay so they told us that she's coming out and she's gonna be talking about this and that and like they were like this guy was just coming up to the stage because there was obviously a stage there was chairs and stuff like that we were like around the third row i want to say we were not that far but we weren't that close so we were like in the mid like we were like kind of just right there like perfect so yeah this guy was just telling us that he's like she's gonna be coming out you know be prepared at the end when she's finished speaking and stuff like that you can ask her a question my mom was like you should ask her a question but you know i was like okay what can i ask i can't just ask her anything i just i had to think of something so she was like, I don't know, think of something. Like, just think of something so you can talk to her and I can record you and stuff like that. I was like, okay, like, why don't you ask her? Like, you're, we're here for you, ma. Like, I'm, I'm here to do this for you. Like, why don't you ask her? But she was too nervous. She, So I was like, okay, fine. So then, you know, they they tell us that she's, she's about to come out and they play the People's Court song and then she comes out. And the way she comes out is so adorable. She's so adorable, guys. Like she's just the sweetest human being ever and she just comes out looking like she just comes out like that she just starts bowing like that to people and i was like wow our first time here and i'm very excited you have a wonderful city with absolutely one yeah, so that happened then she was just talking about her life she was just talking about the people's court she's talking about her family and stuff like that how being a woman is so important in life is just having to succeed things in life and stuff like that she was just mainly talking about that and she's she's happy with that she's happy that god put her in her life and with all grateful blessings that's what she was mainly talking about just to let y'all know about that and they were like okay you can ask her questions you know you can ask her whatever you like um like they were just like really precautious like not to say inappropriate things to her you know just you know some other people wanted to ask a question they asked her questions first i was like maybe in the middle and i was like okay i'm gonna do it i'm gonna actually tell her something like i'm gonna actually tell her something and it was i was oh my god i swear to y'all i was shitting bricks i i'm sorry but i was shitting bricks because i was like i'm gonna actually ask her a question just probably one question right so i was like okay so then i raised my hand and i was like i would like to ask her a question so i asked her a question and she she's like okay so i i told her my name i told her where i lived obviously and i told her so one day i would like to be a lawyer um since you are a judge what's it like on that perspective side like what's on the difference between a, a lawyer like 
you know, seeing it from your side of view, like I guess you can say. She's a judge, so she does work in a courtroom, so just asking her experience about that. And so, honestly, I don't remember a thing. We have a clip of it, right? I'm sorry, <laughs> uh, I have two things to tell you. One, what's it like doing with like cases like we do in the people's court? Because I'm actually thinking about going to law school and I really want to like know what's going through your mind. Are you going through these cases? So yeah. I just wanted to know. So, um, you know, if most of the best judges are people who have, uh, who have spent a lot of time trying cases and w working on, um, in court, I think, and cross-examining people and examining people and just being through the puzzles that is a trial, whether it's criminal or civil. So I spent a lot of time doing that. I was a judge for seven years, but I was a prosecutor under Janet Reno for 10 years. I just don't remember when I was actually there. I, I just remember staring at her because she was staring at me. She, I was staring at her. She's obviously going to like be looking at me while she's asking the question. She's going to like she's answering it for me. So I was like, oh, my God, she's staring at me. That's all I could think of. I was like, oh, my God, basically kept going on. She just had a, like a long speech, just like a, the longest speech I've ever heard. But I was like, you know what? Since I mean, this is a one life opportunity, like this never happens in a lifetime. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and tell her. I'm gonna go ahead and tell her. I told her, by the way, I've always wanted to tell you this, but you look just like my mother. And obviously everyone turned around. Everyone turned around and looked at my mom and they were like, yeah, they look, she looks just like her. And and even Judge Marilyn Mignon was like, yes, we do look alike. We have the same haircut. Like we have another footage of that. One more question. I've always wanted to tell you this. You look just like my mom. I am not kidding you. Oh yeah, we have the same haircut. I tell her, mom, you're on TV. Is that you? And like, I kid you not. Like, so I'm like, I'm not kidding. 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 I'm after that, we asked them questions and stuff like that. They're like, okay, so she's gonna come and take pictures with y'all on the side and stuff like that. So we got in line to take a picture with her. And guys, I'm not kidding when I say Judge Marilyn Mignon and my mom look alike. Tell me they do not look alike. Y'all cannot say. But like this is this was something ew, don't even look at me this was something that was life-changing from me and my mom we were just super excited to see her and she was just such a wonderful lady this was the greatest experience of my life and it's the greatest experience for my mother's life because obviously that she just met her idol now every time we watch the people's court we're just like oh my god we met her we saw her i was shitting bricks you know what i'm saying like that was crazy like but yeah that was that was just something that i got to share to y'all guys yeah and if you guys like this video please make sure to give it a big thumbs up like comment share and subscribe so yeah i'll see you guys next time from your favorite potato bye guys oh, oh, na, 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 na. Oh,